Hello everyone, this is Nisha from B Sales Academy. Hope all of you are doing great, enjoying your vacation. Today I've come to share a few facts related to science from an interesting topic. The topic which I've chosen would really excite you. Yes, I'm talking about the bubble theory. Bubbles, the name itself is very fascinating, isn't it? It revokes our childhood memories of blowing and chasing them as they float in the air. Now what exactly is a soap bubble? A soap bubble is nothing but air wrapped, wrapped inside a thin soap film. When, if you ask what is a soap film, then a soap film is nothing but water sandwiched between two thin layers of soap molecules. These molecules help them give a shape which is hollow like a sphere. Now why does a bubble pop? The answer is very simple. The water molecules evaporate from the bubble. That is when they just burst. Sometimes you may find the bubble doesn't pop. Basically, bubble is allergic to dryness. So whenever it comes in contact with a dry surface, that is when it disappears. But if the surface is wet enough, it will tend to stick. Sometimes you may find bubbles are colored. Why do you think you find colors on bubbles? When I say color, it always reminds me of light. Without light, there is no color, isn't it? Yes, a bubble is no exception. When light rays fall on the surface of a bubble, it just shows up the colors. So we say, science says, it is reflection of light rays. But if the source of light is same, why do, why do we see different colors on a bubble? Well, the color dominance of a bubble depends upon the thickness of a soap film. Have you ever imagined why bubbles are always spherical in shape? This is because of the reduced surface tension. Generally, liquids have stronger intermolecular force of attraction between them. Now, the water molecules present inside the bubble also get attracted to each other. When they attract each other, they try to come close together and group themselves in a small area. This gives bubble a spherical shape. And due to this reason, they always occupy a very small surface area and lesser volume. Now let me show you something more interesting in a bubble. Wow, why bug? Bubble inside a bubble? Now you must have observed bubbles are created inside bubbles. There are several bubbles blown together but they stick. Why do bubbles stick to each other? There is a science behind this as well. We go back to the surface tension concept. The attractive forces between the molecules present inside the bubble tend to give them a spherical shape because they are grouped together. So they always occupy a smaller surface area. This tendency makes the bubble join together to share a common bond. Well, to summarize today's session, we have discussed what is a soap bubble? How does it form colors? 
Why do they pop? Why do they stick together? And what gives it its shape? Well, that puts an end to our bubble theory for today. Hope this session was interesting and informative. For more such interesting topics, stay tuned for my next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel.